Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to create transactions with VAT and how the VAT returns report is generated in the Oman edition of Zoho Books. Go to www.zoho.com forward slash books to log in to your Zoho Books account. If you are a first time user, click the sign up now button at the top right corner of the page to create an account. To know more on how to sign up and get started, please click the link in the description below. To record your transactions with VAT, you need to make sure that your organization is VAT registered. To do this, go to Settings, Taxes, and check if the required details are already entered. If not, select Yes for Is your business registered for VAT? Provide your TRN, mark the International Trade checkbox in case you are involved with international trades outside Oman, enter the VAT registered date the generate first tax return from date, which is the date from which you're going to generate your first VAT return report in Zoho Books, and also enter the reporting period. After filling in all the necessary details, click Save. Once done, you can view the tax rates being populated in the respective transactions. Apart from these tax rates, the exempt or out of scope treatment can be directly chosen at the line item level of the transaction itself. Now that the VAT details are saved, let us create an invoice and see how the output VAT is captured. To do so, go to Sales, Invoices, and click the plus new button in the top right corner of the page. Here, you can add a new customer or select a VAT registered customer. Fill in all the necessary details and select the items you wish to invoice along with their tax rates. Next, click Save and Send. Once the invoice is in the Send status, you can scroll down to the bottom of the page to view the journal entry of this transaction. Here, you can see that the output VAT account is credited by 5% of the total taxable amount of the transaction. Now, let's talk about capturing VAT in your purchase transactions like bills and expenses. A bill is a transaction where you buy goods or services from your vendors and pay for it on a later date based on the desired payment terms, while expenses are your regular day-to-day -day business costs like fuel expenses, rent, and salaries. To record a bill, go to Purchases, Bills, and click the plus new button in the top right corner of the page. Here, select a VAT registered vendor and enter the bill number, which is the purchase invoice number that you received from your vendor. Fill in the required details such as the items you wish to bill and their respective tax treatments. You can also mark the box eligible for ITC which is the input tax credit. Now click save as open. Once the bill is saved, you will be able to notice that the input tax account has been debited. Likewise, to record an expense, go to purchases, expenses and click the plus new button in the top right corner of the page. Choose an expense account, enter the amount and select a paid through account. In the tax treatment field, select VAT registered and choose VAT standard 5% and mark the box eligible for ITC. You also have the option to choose whether the expense amount is tax exclusive or tax inclusive. Finally, click save. If you check the journal entry of the expense at the bottom of the page, you will find that the input VAT has been debited. Please note that the output VAT and input VAT will be included in the VAT returns report only if it is recorded through tax invoices, expenses, and bills. If you try to capture VAT by creating manual journals, it will not be included in your VAT returns report. Now that we have recorded sales and purchase transactions with VAT, let us see how the VAT returns report is generated. Navigate to the reports module in the left sidebar Click VAT Returns under Taxes and click Generate VAT Return. The reporting period can either be monthly or custom. 
By selecting the reporting period as monthly, you can generate a monthly VAT returns report. If you choose custom, you can select the date range and generate the report accordingly. Let's select the reporting period as custom and choose the date range. Then click generate. The VAT returns report will be generated as per requirements by the tax authority in Oman. The VAT on sales and all other outputs, VAT on purchases and net VAT due would be automatically populated based on the transactions recorded in Zoho books. Finally, in box number 7C, you can view the net VAT which may either be payable or refundable. Once it is generated, you can export the corresponding PDF. While exporting, you can protect the report with a password and choose the language in which you wish to export the report, that is, either in Arabic or English. You can customize the report and click Export. The report will be exported as a PDF. Now let's see how to submit VAT returns in Oman's tax portal. Go to this link and sign in to the taxpayer's account. Next, navigate to VAT returns and select add new return. The taxpayer details will be auto-filled. Enter the VAT returns details as per the VAT returns report generated by Zoho Books. After entering the necessary data, click the submit button and select yes when the confirmation prompt appears. After this is done, the VAT returns will be submitted. Once the return is filed, you can go back to Zoho Books, select the VAT returns report, and mark the report as filed. We hope this video has helped explain how VAT works in Zoho Books. If you have any queries, feel free to contact us at support.me at zohobooks.com or reach out to our support team using the details in the description below. If you like this video, click the like button and do subscribe to our channel to receive updates about future videos. Don't forget to click the bell icon for instant notifications so that you would not miss any of our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.